Hi there and welcome. This is Jennifer McGuire. I hope you're having a great day. Today I am going to show you how I die cut craft foam to create accents for my projects. These uh, Using craft foam for die cuts is great because it automatically gives you dimension and it's very easy to do. So I created these tags that actually have some lip balm attached to it. It's a fun little gift that you can give to just about anyone. I got to give my friend Heather credit. She came up with this great idea when we were brainstorming together and I'll link to her blog because she always has really creative of ideas. Okay, to start I'm going to die cut some tags. I'm using the largest tag die you see here from a set from Paper Smooches and I'm actually cutting eight tags for the four projects. I'm going to double up the tags just to make them sturdy and I'm cutting this from some Nina Desert Storm cardstock. I really like using this soft craft cardstock background. It works with just about any project. Now I'm using a new paper smooches die. This is coming soon. It is a little bumblebee die set and I'm cutting it from a few different colors of craft foam. This is that fun foam that we played with as a kid. It has a little bit of dimension to it and it comes in a lot of bright colors and it's inexpensive. Now this stuff, when you run it through the die cut machine, it will flatten a bit because we're squishing it down, but it does pop up again after a few minutes. So you get great dimension and it die cuts beautifully. So I'm cutting this little bee die from yellow, black, and red craft foam, and even from a silver glitter craft foam that I found. I actually found this in my kids' stuff, but you can find this at a lot of craft stores also. Now you'll see here it does flatten down again when you die cut it, but it will pop back up. Okay, so these are the stamp sets I'm using today. This is an older paper smooches set, and I'm going to use the Just Because from it. And then from this other older paper smooches set, I'm using the B from Be Mine. So I'm going to put those two together and stamp the greeting that says just because. Now I'm planning this out now so I know how much room to leave below my die cuts as I glue them on. Okay, so now I'm going to adhere this black outline of die cut. So this is the craft foam. I'm going to put adhesive on the back of it. Now I found that the easiest thing to do was to apply Ranger's Multimedium and the matte finish to the back of it. I have that fine point on this adhesive bottle. It's the Quilled Creations fine point. Makes it really easy to put just a tiny bit of adhesive along the back of this. Now I can put it on my cardstock and if I move it a little bit, that's okay. It has a matte finish so you won't see it on that cardstock background. Now you could instead put a stick it adhesive or some sort of double sided adhesive on the back of the craft foam before you run it through your die cut machine. However, I found that this was just as fast and you'll see why because I'm going to inlay all the colorful pieces of craft foam into this black outline die cut and it really is fast to do just using this liquid adhesive. So you could try any liquid adhesive with this that you may have. Okay, so now it's time to inlay all the colorful pieces of craft foam into the black outline piece. So I just squirted some liquid adhesive into the open areas and now I'm popping the different craft foam pieces in. For the wings, I'm using that silver glitter craft foam and then I'm going to use yellow in the body and then red for the heart. So you can see how easy it is to just squirt a little bit of that liquid adhesive into the open areas and then pop the craft foam pieces into it. I think that this is actually a little bit faster than adding double-sided tape to the back of each of the different colors of craft foam before die cutting, but you could do that if you wanted to. Now, if you don't have this kind of craft foam, I'll link to the ones that I use, by the way. They're very inexpensive and there's variety packs. But if you don't have the craft foam, you could do the same technique with maybe a, um, different felts, so different colors of felt so that you can get some dimension and some texture. Or you could just do this with cardstock. It'd be nice and smooth and flat. But I really like the look of the craft foam because it gives a dimension and it just looks like a fun completed accent. And by the way, I think this craft foam is pretty easy to work with. It's easier to do inlay with these pieces with dimension than it is to do with the cardstock. I also did the other bee the same way. Now it's time to add the sentiment. I'm using my anti-static powder tool because I'm going to clear heat emboss this black versifying message. So I stamped the word just first. Now I'm going to stamp because, but I am not going to ink up the first two letters. Notice that I'm only inking up the last part of the word because I want to replace the BE with the sentiment that has B-E-E -E in it to go with our little die cut. So I'm just inking up part of the word and I'm going to stamp that right below the little B die cuts. And now I'm going to stamp the B-E-E. -E. So now we have a fun, playful sentiment. So look at all your sentiment stamp sets and how you can use them together in creative ways. 
I also did a little hyphen with the black pen. And now I am adding some clear embossing powder over this sentiment. Now I need to heat set this, but a little word of warning. Craft foam likes to shrink if it gets hot. So make sure your heat gun is good and hot before you bring it just over to the words. You don't want to put any heat on that craft foam for too long or it will shrink. Now that's a fun technique, but I really didn't want these to shrink on this project. Okay, so now I have uh, the room left on the bottom to add our little lip balm that I'm going to tie to it. So I am putting some strong double-sided adhesive on the back of this tag, and I'm just going to glue it to another of the same tag that's just plain. The reason I'm doing this is I wanted it to be really sturdy because we're going to tie that lip balm to it. Now at this point, you could also write a message on that other tag that we're gonna glue to the back. Okay, so after I've glued these together, it's time to tie on the lip balm. There are many different ways that you can do this, but I thought this was pretty, pretty easy. I just used a hole punch to punch four little holes in the bottom of the tag, and I'm going to weave some string through it to hold the lip balm in place. So here I'm using my chomper to cut uh, two holes on this side and then two holes on the other side. You'll see I didn't line them up or plan them out. It really doesn't matter because the lip balm will cover them. So I've got the four holes. Now I'm going to take some May Art Natural Twine. I love natural twine because it's very inexpensive and it works with pretty much any style of project. So I am feeding it from the back up to the front and I'm making a loop. So you see there's a loop there. Now I'm going to do the exact same thing on the other. So I'm gonna end up with two little loops on the front of my project and the end of the strings towards the back of the project. Okay, so now I have these two loops here. Now I'm going to hold my lip balm between those two loops, but I was afraid it might slide out the side. So I decided to grab a mini glue dot and put it behind there. Couldn't find my mini glue dots. I don't know what happened to them. So I'm taking a larger glue dot, kind of rolling it up so it's smaller, and I'm putting the lip balm in that. And that will just kind of help hold it in place. So I'm holding it there, have those two loops around the lip balm. I'm gonna tighten it up on the back so you can see those two loops holding it in place there. And now I'm just going to tie these two ends into a bow on the back. And it looks cute back there too. And it really does a good job holding it into place. And remember, you can add a message, a personal message above this bow here on the back of this tag. I plan to give these, I made four of these, I plan to give them to the nurses at my kid's doctor's office. I don't know them well, but I appreciate everything they do. So I thought it was a fun, simple little gesture. And these lip balms are only like a dollar a piece. Okay, so now for the top, I cut a piece of red silk ribbon and a piece of twine, and I am tying them together in a bow on the top of the tag. You'll notice that it doesn't end up being a perfect bow, but that's okay. I think that's part of the uh, good thing about tying the twine and the bow together. It kind of gives you a fun, messy look, and it doesn't have to be perfect. So now I'm just gonna cut those ends and leave that there. You'll see there's some other ribbon scraps there on my table. I was trying out other ribbons, but I thought the solid looked best. So there we have it, just a fun and simple, inexpensive gift that you can create for just about anyone to make them smile. It's great for the Share Handmade Kindness Challenge this month. If you wanted to check out any of the products that I talk about, I link the main ones below my YouTube description, or I highly recommend going over to my blog by clicking up here on the top left. I have much more information there. You can also subscribe to see more videos by clicking the bottom left button. In the middle, I have three other videos using craft foam and creative ways with die cutting. So be sure to check those out. I'll also link those below. Thanks so much for stopping by, and we'll see you again soon.